Welcome everyone. We have another interview series. It's been a while that we have in this one. Uh, I'm trying to get more uh, as soon as you know, as the patches come. And at the same time, it's a very good timing where you guys have the new Arcana update, right? So we have, remember, our first video we had on the Arcana uh, interview. Uh, we had someone that was really skilled. And this initial video, we got the same person. We got Buso here uh, to talk about the new Arcana build. And he also has uh, an, ex an existing build within Inven. Uh, like a guidepost. You guys, if you guys want to see any details, you can press Google English, and this post literally has everything. Look how long this is. It will be on the uh, YouTube description as well. This particular event post. Uh, but these are all the details that he have wrote down in terms of uh, you know, the tests and the cycles and all these things. And hopefully, you know, the Google translation uh, does a little better job for you guys or maybe someone who is really interested in arcana could translate uh this whole post for someone and then put on uh reddit but to me this has to be like it's like a bible over here at that point you know we got the you know the quick recharge runes and all these things and the thought process within it and we brought him here to test that emperor build as well right to to, to have him talk about the build itself uh, so those are the time that we're going to spend on and then you know as usual in the interview instead of the instead of the monk guardian we're going to have one on one in pro kill instead so that's going to be turned into those 저번 아르카나 대규모 패치 이후로 황제를 메인으로 지금 플레이를 하고 있기 때문에 다른 황후를 플레이하는 사람보다 그 음, 음. 전문성이 뛰어난지는 모르겠어요 지금으로서는 음 그래서 요번에는 황후에 대한 질문이 있으면 간단하게 대답을 해드리고 황제 관련해서 좀더 자세하게 설명을 해보도록 하겠습니다. Uh, what he has said was before when we were doing the Arcana interview we were covering both sections both builds as you know the Emperor Spiss and Emperor build. What he is focusing on right now is he plays the Emperor build uh, as his main. So he can actually answer some of the basic questions uh, for the Empress build. But he wanted to tell you guys that Emperor is his specialty right now, as of now. And then, you know, that's one of the main reasons why I have asked him uh, to have this interview time on us. So we're going to cover the new patch for the Arcana, the skills and the changes, etc. Uh, and then we're going to go from there. 원래 사용하던 세렌디 PT를 지금 포카드로 바꾼 상태고요. So if I translate within the biggest point of the red skill section that uh, you guys will be interested on, which I saw on the Discord questions as well. So out of the four red skills, the four card, the skill itself, the four card, it wasn't used as before, but the tripod has been completely changed where, you know, it resets. And then as you notice, which is a tripod here, he has a one, one, one. With that, he has converted from serendipity to four card and as if we was explaining what serendipity versus four card was you know serendipity has a counter and based on the cards that you get but overall based on consistent damage and like uh, the calculation itself the four card and on average has a higher dps so he actually recommends uh, people to swap into that particular red skill 백플러시가 있는데 이거 같은 경우는 이제 스택이죠. 장점이라고 하면은 탁월한 기동성인데 돌격 대장 아르카나 대부분이 메인으로 가져가고 있거든요. So going over one of the newer skill, right? We see the back flush. So the back flush itself has a tripod where it increases your movement speed. As you guys may know, the reason why the Arcana goes for the raid captain itself is because there are tripods that increase your movement damage. So you do get that movement speed. 운명의 부름이 택기로 활용할 수 있게 변경이 되었거든요. 예. Yeah. 이 페이크 플립 트라이포드인데 얘는 이게 합쳐져 있어요. 스택에다가 그래서 어, oh, I see. 시간을 아낄 수 있는 거죠. 오. Oh. So, uh, another skill, another important skill uh, based on the change is this call of destiny, the call of destiny the yellow skill. Beforehand, uh, before the patch, we used to use this for quick draw to just draw the identity card for however for this call of destiny itself if you get third tripod the newest one it turns into a stack skill and at the same time if you take that dark destiny you increase that crit damage so that's that's uh, some of the changes that the yellow skill has after the patch 지우다운님 같은 경우에는 요거 같은 경우에는 아까도 말씀드렸듯이 이제 악몽이 끝없는 끝없는 만화가 터지게 되면은 스킬 쿨이 워낙에 짧기 때문에 리턴을 섞는 시간이 아깝거든요 
스킬 콤보를 우겨 넣을 수 있는 거죠. So what he wanted to tell you was we were talking about Empress build by the way. If you if the, if you guys are having a a little bit of confusion, we're going over uh the other stuff. The, the this topic that we're talking about right now is we're talking about the changes because you guys are wondering like oh the change like a lot of changes happen what are the key things that we should look into and those three skills are the key things that you should look into and as you and as we talked about was for call of destiny if you switch that second tripod and the reason why most people do that is because it condenses the combo whereas how he also mentioned you that a playing in a certain build and the reason being is when arcana uses nightmare relic set you know when you go to the endless mana you have less cooldowns right so the animation of you mixing in return to have the crit there, some of the skills are playing around in cooldown. And for endless mana build, uh, a style type of build, their goal is to rotate as much skills as they can within the given time. Therefore, having the Call of Destiny with uh, the crit buff synergy at the same time as stacking, it condenses the number of skills that you need to rotate because it's only five seconds and then later on you will be able to utilize more skills within the given time instead of trying to put in a return because be way before before the patch even you're supposed to do return and then you and then do your red skills right the animation that is required to do that is is a waste when you're running uh boundless mana oh so a lot of people are uh, researching uh, different builds and you know all of you guys have separate uh preferences as well and even though uh, he has said, you know, even though he has said to you guys that four card does a little bit more damage uh, at, on average uh, and is mu much more balanced based on uh, the tripod, the new tripod that you guys are going to get, the 111 with the resets and everything. Uh, some people might want to use serendipity still, right? Because maybe, maybe you like that big numbers. Uh, if that is the case, there are some, he showed you two options. The first option was maybe taking out return and then re replacing that with serendipity, or you can also take out call of destiny and replace that with ser uh, serendipity as well. Cordera Accelerator를 쓸지, Back Palace를 쓸지 둘중 하나를 mm. 선택할 수 있게 된것 같아요. 뒤로 물러났다가 앞으로 가는 형태죠. 쓰면서 움직일 수 있고요. 써 오셨기 때문에 이게 이제 편하시겠지만 요가 같은 경우에는 첫 타가 맞고 끝 타가 맞아야 다음 스택이 쌓이거든요. 그게 이제 불편한 사람이 있어요. 음. 지금 요거 같은 경우는 스택이 다 쌓이는 거거든요. 음. Okay, so another another preference based well, for the blue skills is you guys have quadra accelerate. This can be converted into back flush, and we we and what he just talked about back flush versus quadra accelerate is if you guys are used to using quadra accelerate, that's good because you know uh, you're just used to it, right? It has no difference between you know that stuff. Uh, some of the stuff that is like, you know, advantage, disadvantage position would be something like for Quadra Accelerate, you need to hit the first hit and the last hit in order for the stack to stack completely, correct? But for Back Flush's case, the stack happens immediately. It's just that you need to move back and then move forward. So if you're not used to uh, having that kind of movement, you can just use Quadra Accelerate. But if you want to try like a new thing to see if it works for you, uh, you can try the back flush as well. And also for the back flush, uh, as we explained in the very beginning, the first tripod on the very right, the third one, it gives you the movement speed. So it makes it easier to uh, maintain that speed boost for five because it lasts five seconds. In five seconds, you can rotate a lot of skills. There's a lot of preferences skills within Arcana because it's based on what you prefer. Uh, so you just wanted to stress out that uh, it's very important for you guys to choose uh, after trying it out yourselves. So from here, um, he has covered most of the large changes that it is important for you guys to learn about Empress Arcana, just to get it confirmed in. And afterwards, we were talking about the thing is, before you guys were using Call of Destiny with the high tripod, you get like cards at a random pace. Like as in all of a sudden you use it uh, within based on your luck, all of a sudden you get like two cards or something like that, right? Uh, since that has disappeared, uh, you can actually plan it out. The playstyle itself, it's not a sudden thing, it's more of you can plan it very slowly, as if he was just showing it to you, building the meter while hitting the uh, while, while hitting the boss, and then you can wait for a certain card, uh, whichever you want. Right? So that's like the first part that he was talking about. Mm. 
레인에 맞춰 쓰려고 노력을 하고요. Uh, he wanted to explain. So there's a lot of information for this. What the question was, most of you guys are having an issue on what to do utilizing cards. And then there's since there's new cards uh, that are in the table, you know, the most of the majority of the questions that you guys were asking in Discord was, oh, so when we get judgment, like, what do we need to do? We need to wait if, uh, and from the beginning part of the video, uh, beginning part of the comment that he said was, the gesture card is actually really important, right? And then the gesture card, Within using the gesture card itself, I don't. I actually don't know the translator for this card. But the only cards that he doesn't utilize the gesture is uh, so the clown card. Uh, the only cards that he doesn't utilize is the what was it the bad ones, right? You know the the rage one, and then you have the uh, corrosive, you have the ghost, and then you have the star. Instead of that, everything else using the gesture card within to to get a duplicate of. These particular other damage related cards is a very good idea. 쓰면은 끝엄마에서 나오게 되거든요. 그래서 일부러 이 별카드를 안 쓰고 있다가 만화 중독 상태로 들어가잖아요. 네. 그럼 이제 그때서야 별을 이제 포진을 시켜 주는 거죠. Continuing from what he've said on uh, the theory of the change itself and the playstyle. So as you notice, since so, since there's no sudden a uh, draw of cards. Uh, for example, a long time ago, let's say you happen to get a star card, right? Before, you use it right away to have a faster rotation of cards. However, now, what it happens is since you're just building meter very, very slowly, not with a sudden draw, the, since the card rotation itself is much slower, you can plan it ahead. So, for example, again, the star one. Star is actually a trap card, as he said. Why is it a trap card? Because uh, most of the time, Arcana rotates skills based on... Uh, endless mana, right? You gotta be on endless mana to uh, rotate the skills properly. And if you use a star card, which it fills all your mana to 100%, you get away from endless mana, right? Therefore, what you what they do now is they keep that star card on purpose, and naturally, if you get out of endless mana state, you throw that card away. If that makes sense for you guys. So what it what what is this important from uh, listening to this uh, particular strategy was now Arcana you need to save cards more if you're playing Empress because you need to plan out ahead and hold cards and use it accordingly. So when people were asking on Discord saying like how do you utilize a certain card if my skills don't cool down or should I use my star card right away? It isn't isn't it gonna take me away from endless mana? The answer to that is since you since you uh, use the card much less often, and you, since you draw much uh, much slower than before, <clears throat> after the patch, you need to think ahead, and then and then plan it ahead and play a little slower, like rotating cards a little slower. 레인에 맞춰서 사용하기만 해도 저는 굉장히 잘 쓰는 거라고 생각을 해요. 그냥 이 레인을 줄여주는 게 가장 DPS 증가 효과를 확실하게 가져오니까 그냥 단순하게. Right. So as for the new card, you know, the one that uh, decreases the cooldown, I don't know the translation uh, for that card, but that particular card, as long as you match it with Celestial Rain, you're doing a good job because Celestial Rain has the, uh, that, that can actually increase DPS a lot more because the cooldown of that skill itself is, is the longest. So that was one other question that uh, some people did ask. Yep. 기본 치적이 이제 상당히 높아요. 음. 원래는 세렌디피티가 아드 3이 이제 거의 필수적으로 사용이 되었거든요. 오케이. Okay. So so the question the initial question from the Discord was, you know, you guys were confused about the necklace being crit spec or swift spec, right? Is now that the skill changed from Seren Serendipity to four card, uh, as most people are using four card right now instead of Serendipity, right? The Serendipity gives you what? It gives you 500% crit damage. But the four card itself, the new tripod gives you a flat crit chance increase. Therefore, all three of the skills, all three of the red skills provide additional crit chance as long as you have high tripod level. So if you're going for an adrenaline, isn't like as important as anymore because you know to get that to get the amount of crit that is necessary to be needed. So if you happen to go crit spec, you would take the adrenaline out and then you add something a, a, like a different uh, damage engraving in. For example, like right, there's Raid Captain and there's other things. And even Keen Blunt wasn't in the table. The Keen Blunt's now also in the table because you don't use Serendipity anymore. If you use your Serendipity, 500% crit damage. It's not efficient. You know, it's, ha it's not efficient to go it up. So 
for those of you guys who are wondering like how I should take it into an in account, if you go Swift uh, Swift spec, you know you will need to take adrenaline because you're missing that 15%. But if you go crit spec, you will need to uh, take away adrenaline and just go into for a flat damage uh, increase on an engraving. Okay, so I think yeah that I think that covers most of it. Again, let's uh, so for me after having this conversation, let's conclude it for a second. If I summarize the information, one, you don't get a sudden card draws anymore because of the new build uh, of of utilizing skills. And since cards don't rotate as fast, they tend to plan out usage of cards a little more. For example, for you guys that are asking about judgment or the guys that are asking about star card, or like when to use it. Uh, obviously, they use it as they hold it for a while, as in, you know, you're not going to hold. Because some people back in the days, if you hold one card for too long, it isn't as good because you got to keep rotating cards to get a better card, right? But nowadays, you just hold the card and use it very efficiently. For example, if you have Joy card, make sure you uh, combo it with Celestial Rain, right? Uh, and if you have a Star card, if you naturally go into an, a Boundless Mana state, which you don't, which is the state that you actually don't want to be in. You throw away your star card because that's like a, it kind of operates like a star, uh, a trap card. As he talked about, you know, most of you guys are playing Empress. That's why we talked about Empress uh, due to the recent balance change and like the new skills, the new tripods, and all that stuff. It's great, right? So we we went over those, and he knows that there's a lot more Empress players. But Emperor build got even more buff. Uh, within that change, and then no one, no one's. Uh, it's a little bit forced. It's a bit of shadowed on top of the Empress. You know, in the very beginning of the interview, he did say that he has switched build into Emperor build, where which most people don't play Emperor build. This is the main part of the interview, actually. This is a new build that uh, he has uploaded a guide on Invent as well. And some of you guys are really interested on this Emperor new Emperor build too. With that, we should continue uh, talking about. The Emperor Bureau from now on too. Okay? Cool. I'm excited. He's going to show you the cycle first. So within the cycle itself, he has said that based on, you know, way before before the patch, Empress versus Emperor, right? Emperor didn't have that much uh, DPS capability compared to Empress. That's why most people play Empresses, right? But after the patch, the Emperor build itself got even more buff than the Empress itself. Therefore, he feels that after playing, you know, he plays both he played both builds for a very long time, guys. And if he feels that Emperor does just about almost... He feels that it just does just about the, almost the same damage if the mastery of the certain build is very high. As in, I know for sure the Emperor build requires a lot of a lot of experience to the class and you have to be really good at it. Uh, but, and before, continue, uh, before continuing talking about the skills in detail, he's going to show you some uh, skill rotation and like the play style itself. So. The real DPS. It's a piano class, boys. Wow, that's so fast, though. Ah, Pogo, yo? Wait, wait. Is there a deal that's going to happen? Wait, he had that much DPS, but there was one bug? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Chad, we're looking at something crazy right now, dude! Like, he's assuming as if the uh, support's giving the mana. Oh, right, the mana broke, that's why. Wait, holy shit. This is actually a lot higher than I thought. Dude, holy shit! That piano class. This is fat. This is faster than reflux. <laughs> this is faster than reflux sword. <laughs> wow! I am actually really impressed. It's like a different place, like a completely different play style. Oh, so I see, I see how he's dead. Wow, but I guess that's the... Dude, look look how many numbers. Wow. 
I mean, I never killed him before. Mm. He said he usually gets 20 million plus DPS, uh, but you know, there's some tricks and bugs and stuff, so I think he's just getting a certain thing there. 간단하게 설명을 하자면 메인 주력기 스킬들이 있고요. 버프 스킬이 이제 두 가지가 있고 요거 같은 경우는 이제 유틸기 카드를 음. 뽑거나 아니면 뭐 부입하게 음, 그리고 무력화 음. 이런 용도로 사용하는 스킬이 음. 있어요. 버프를 이제 이렇게 몬스한테 발라서 Those are the buff skills. Correct. 그리고 나머지 이네 개의 주력기를 이 버프 스킬이 들어가는 동안 눌러주면 되는 이제 이론상으로 되게 간단한 직업이에요. 음. 이 스킬들을 굴리면서 이 카드를 이제 적재적소로 사용해 주는 게 조금 복잡한 거거든요. You know the basic rundown of is you have the buff skills, uh, which is called the stream of edge and return, and then you have your main DPS skills, which is celestial rain, and then you also have unlimited shuffle, and then you have evoke, and then you have the dark resurrection, and then uh, you know the W skill. The Call of Destiny, that could be like a buff skill plus utility. And then you have the Q skill, which is Mysterious Stampede. It works as the, um, the, like the utility skill. You know, it has stagger, it also has destruction, all that good stuff in there, right? It has a, it has a weak point, yeah. There's a good weak point as well. So within that, uh, the rotation will be something like, you know, you apply buff uh, with the Stream of Edge and return. And within the amount of times that you get, you're rotating the DPS skill as fast as you can, which is Celestial Rain, Unlimited Shuffle, and Invoke, and Dark Resurrection. As you guys seen it, the animation is so short and concise to a point that you can, it just it just squeezes everything in. And from this point on, what is more important for this point, again, is uh, while you're doing these fast uh, rotation, based on what cards you get uh, from the uh, rotation, you need to squeeze that, squeeze those cards in properly to get this piano thing increase DPS even more. I, I think that's where the difficulty of this class comes in, as far uh, as far as I know what I've seen. Another disadvantageous uh, thing for this particular build is, uh, as you noticed, the Dark Resurrection, Unlimited Shuffle, uh, the Evoke. So they're more of a, a, a place down skill, as in like they have a longer animation. They need to stay there a little longer to have the biggest DPS pulling out, you know, compared to some other classes, you just hit it once, right? It be, it's it looks really good as like a scarecrow thing, but you know bosses tend to move around everywhere, so uh, put, uh, you have to put you have to keep that in mind that you know this, this the class itself that's that would be the disadvantageous uh, thing about uh, the rotation itself. So for return, this is your main you know the buff skill, right? The buff itself is five seconds, right? And apparently, if if you have this build, the returns cooldown is under five seconds, so you have a hundred you have a hundred percent uptime on this particular uh, synergy that you're going to have on the tripod. So the tripod for this particular stream of edge, you know, it's also giving you buffs and etc. for the for the synergy. What's important is this skill is also almost have 100% rotation. When you go to the endless mana state, you can rotate the skill much 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 faster. If Dark Resurrection does the most damage single hit, the evoke is a very fast skill that rotates very quickly. And also gives you a card, so this 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 is the most important skill uh, for Emperor build. The only bad part is uh, it takes a little bit to explode. <laughs> it's a setup skill. Uh, since Stream of Edge, you're rotating for synergy anyways, right? And you're getting some of the stacks. So you add in Celestial Rain, which is uh, the big DPS skill for red, uh, to pop that stack. However, you're missing one. Uh, from Stream of Edge, so therefore, you, uh, what he does is you use Call of Destiny and utilize the new tripod to add in a little bit more stack, stack that you need to pop Celestial Rain, as you guys seen uh, him use this, uh, has used to use the Stream of Edge and then Call of Destiny and then use Celestial Rain to pop that stack up. It's very condensed and very uh, organized. Buffa가 달려 있고 무력화가 나쁘지 않은 스킬이고 이제 두번 사용할 수 있어요. 끝없는 만화로 들어가는데 굉장히 중요하게 작용한다. Right. So the mysterious stampede uses a quick draw, and uh, you use it accordingly, and you can use it twice. And each time you use it, you use 441 mana. Uh, and if you just use it twice, you're about losing like almost 900 mana. Right. So uh, for activating the endless mana for nightmare, it's a very good skill, a very good utility skill to have because it has also has weak point and also has stagger as well.
So uh, it's a good choice. Mm. Oh, I want to show one thing. So check this out. So that double thing here, this is this is a destruction that the Arcana has. Look at that. It re so we, we, he can do it like up to three times if because of the short cooldown, right? Because of the reset. The re if you get like the reset card. So you see that little turtle guy. So each each hit is a destruction. Um and that's a first level one, and it can be increased if you want to. So uh, the utilities, there are some of the additional utility things that you can have if you play the Emperor build. Oh, okay, so there's three things. The reason why you don't use Checkmate anymore, because before, uh, uh, when he showed it a long time ago, is because it's a blue skill. Blue skill does not impact it from the engraving. Uh, it's also a back attack skill, so the Hitmaster doesn't work. Uh, those two are the big reasons why you don't use it anymore. And the new cards that you get from the identity, it, it it's uh, impacted from the normal skill. So I think we have covered the basics for it, like the playstyle and everything. We should cover maybe a little bit more detail on the skills because I think you guys are interested in what kind of tripods and what they usually take. So we're going to talk about gems. We're going to talk about engravings. We haven't talked about those yet. Oh, five damage gems. Okay. 그리고 이제 홍염 같은 경우에는 이제 멸알 다섯 개를 쓰니까 홍염 여섯 개를 쓸수 있거든요. Wow. 그래서 so the two two buffs and then the main five skills gets a, a cooldown and damage gems together. Yep. The Q and W skill, the utility skills, don't have a, a gems because it's not as important as the other five and the two buffs. Chat, it's your favorite engraving. NA's favorite engraving. Yeah, 북미 가게 북미의 최고로 인기 있는 가게네요. 저거 질량 증가. 아, increase mass. <laughs> increase mass. <laughs> 당연히 황제가 들어가고요. 황제 원한 원한 이제 당연히 들어가고. He went over the engravings for start to finish. Uh, basically, the level three is written over here. They're like ma uh, mandatory, like almost uh, very, very recommended. For example, Emperor build, unlike the Empress build, uh, the efficiency of the engraving is huge. So you have to have it as level three. Uh, so for those of you who are interested in it, you should buy the books now, right? Uh, so you got to be level three. And since you go high swiftness, uh, Ray Captain is like a free a free damage engraving for you because you already have so much high swiftness and then you have additional uh, moves at the same time as well, right? Within uh, the supports in your party and that stuff. And Grudge is obvious for most of you guys. And uh, from this point on, and then you have other additional choices. You got Adrenaline, you have Increased Mass, and then you have Hitmaster, right? So you have, those are the engravings that are, uh, choices are on the table. And then the one after that, you know, you have you also have Cursed Doll as a choice, uh, at the same time so within on the seven engravings that he have listed uh you choose five of it or if you happen to have you know like a, a better stone and all that stuff uh you you add that engraving on top of it accordingly mm. Mm -hmm. uh, emperor build has cards that can increase your crit rate anyways and then since you rotate cards so much faster and then you also have a synergy skill on top of that and you go crit swift uh the lack of crit doesn't really hinder the full dps it has, uh, it has. well if you guys just see it a little bit earlier you guys will probably understand because out of the seven engravings that you can use you don't really have much of a choice 그리고 이제 장비까지 설명을 하자면 저는 일단 처음에는 유각몽을 쓰기를 추천을 드려요 그리고 이제 집에 셋을 여기에다가 본인이 원하는 만큼 섞는 느낌으로 저는 추천드리거든요. 유각몽을 하거나 이 집에 사악몽을 하거나 사 집에 이악몽을 하거나 그렇게 될수 있겠는데 네. 육 집에 같은 경우에는 이제 Okay. Right, okay. So that's why you go increase mass. Because okay. like what he was talking a little bit more detail on the relic sets, guys, is you have you have a lot of choices. You can go six nightmare, uh, two dominion, four nightmare, or you can go four dominion, two nightmare, or you can go six dominion. But he doesn't recommend six dominion as much because you, you run out of mana, right? So what he recommends in the very beginning for you guys is just six uh, nightmare to get used to it. If you want a little bit more cooldown, uh, you added two two dominion on top of that, 
Not the reason why, again, is because if you go to endless mana, you get increased uh, you get increased attack speed as well, right? Within the within the buff, so uh, that's why increased mass is like uh, recommended in this particular build. So I mean, uh, I think I've explained this one before. Was uh, you know again for the combat stats, it's eighteen hundred, and then uh, well, as high swiftness as you can. It's a swiftness class, and then you have the crit there too. Adropping timing. 에 대해서 이제 악몽 셋을 사용하기 때문에 끝없는 만화랑 만화 중독 있잖아요. 네. 이제 끝없는 만화 상태에서 스킬을 쓰고 만화 중독 상태로 데미지가 들어가게 하는 게이 황제 아르카나는 가능하거든요. 아, 스킬들이 네, 네. 늦게 터지기 때문에 오. 이제 끝없는 만화에 들어가고 데미지가 만화 중독으로 들어가는데 쿨타임은 네. 끝없는 만화로 돌고 있어요. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, in theory, that's how it's supposed to... Like, for example, we talked about how uh, the Empress build, the star card is like a trap card because you got to stay in uh, endless mana as long as you can. But for this particular build, since you, spend, since you spend mana so fast, the star card itself is also a damage card because let's say you cast a skill at endless mana, you use the star card to fill up the mana bar to full to activate the additional damage with the boundless MP and then you drop it again. Does that make sense, guys? Because the skill itself takes a long time to detonate. So so these kind of little tricks to uh, makes it much higher DPS compared to, like, let's say Empress in a certain situation. That's smart. That's big brain. That's five head. 마찬가지로 각성계를 쓰는 순간 그 만화 상태랑 관련 없이 바로 만화 중독 상태로 들어갈 수 있잖아요. The Adrophin timing, yeah. 평소에 때리다가 mm -mm -mm. 그 스킬들을 다 몰아 넣어요. 몰아 넣고 터지기 전에 각성기를 써요. 그리고 아드로핀을 이미 마신 상태에서요. Mm. 그러면은 이제 끝없는 만화 불 타임이기 때문에 아드로핀이 끝나기 전에 한 사이클을 더 돌릴 수 있어요. 근데 데미지는 oh. 만화 중독인 상태로 두 사이클이 들어가는 거죠. 와우. Wow. So the Adrophin time is 9 seconds where, so you rotate the skills at boundless mana, I mean unlimited mana, and then you, when you use your awakening, you fill that back up, and within the 9 second Adrophin time, you can have, you can squeeze in two cycles in instead of one. So, uh, doing, like having those, having those calculations in is, is pretty good because you gotta have the damage, you gotta have the boost of damage from boundless mana, with your with all your skills, and at the same time you can rotate twice with the Adrophin uh, activated. So that would be like a really good timing. Okay, cool. I think this covers all of the theoretical and um, uh, the, the the topics that we wanted to talk about. This is including the questions that I've got from the Discord, the the pre questions that I got. I mean, there's not there's not that many. Arcana players, uh, so you know, after I looked into it, uh, we asked accordingly, right? Uh, so again, the relic set related stuff. I think I'm 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 pretty sure you guys learned out because like this is a new this is completely new thing, a new area for me because uh, it's right after the buff change. The um, in conclusion, like the new buff for Emperor, like we have so many other options and the class has become so much stronger and then you have a lot more options, you have a lot more play style uh, within Arcana and as for Empress, you know, the Empress became more um, uh, decision related within the slower card draws that you get. So I think this wraps up, we should wrap up with, uh, you know, the explanation here on this particular interview and now we're going to the fun stuff. You guys uh, get re you guys get ready on watching the Procure fight, right, guys? Because uh, it it changed to Procure now instead of the the monkey, right? These are the stuff. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm he wants to recommend you guys playing Emperor Arcana for Procure one v one for those of you who are planning uh, to do it on the first week because uh, the Emperor build does have a little bit more advantage on fighting Procure. <laughs> he's, go he's going to show you he's going to show you beating him up <laughs> because what happens is since you use skills so fast when he goes to the pvp mode he said he can't even move <laughs> i guess so i mean this is normal pro kill but i don't know i wonder if he's gonna kill him uh too fast but 
한번 그 let's let's see it and if it if he dies too fast we we can try hard mode guys. Where you go? Oh. So this is PVE mode. So he's going to go PVP very soon. Wait. Oh, he's going PvP now. Oh shit, guys. What? That resets? What? It's playing a different game. Oh, we're still on. Oh, you went to PvP mode again. What? <laughs> He's just getting his ass stunned the whole time, dude. <laughs> he can't move. He died. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't know he was going to end this fast, guys. He's going to lower a DPS. <laughs> I mean, hard doesn't really apply for you guys because, uh, because uh, you know, you guys are not gonna get hard mode. Actually, taking out. Oh, that's so much weaker. You don't do it, you know? Jim, Sego Bitter Beko, Mirabo, Beko, no gems, uh, just cool down. 그리고 무기를 이제 확 and 1200. 와우. 조금 오래 칠것 같아요. 오. 와, 왜? 오. He's going in with that. 이 상태로 한번 쳐 보겠습니다. The S weapon is all 1200 cuz it's not max. Okay, space bar full time이 엄청 짧아요. 음, mm, the space bar cool down. Because they have the boundless, endless mana. Dude, this endless mana piano is so good. You, you spam so much skill so fast. Jesus. This is uh, 4 Nightmare 2 Dominion. I think I've seen it. Oh wait, maybe this is a sixth nightmare. 다, 네. 직업에 yep. Since the space bar is really quick and cool down. Oh, we have the little Oh nice dodge. Most people use time stop there, even me. <laughs> that cooldown card though. The cooldown card. The stream of edge, you just keep hitting it. The poor guy, he just he just he's just constantly stunned. He can't do anything. <laughs> he can't do anything. <laughs> he's just standing still. <laughs> no one. <laughs> this poor guy he just he's just stun locked. <laughs> he's getting rip bozoed. By the way, this is 1538. His item level is 1538 because he got the 1200 item level weapon, and he removed all of his gems. And considering it's that, considering it's this speed, it's, it's actually insane. Uh...
Jesus. 지금 데미지가 네. 아마 평균 데미지랑 비슷할 거예요. 음. 어, 딱 그, 아, 트라이. 오. 네. So he's he's assuming so basically the DPS he's doing right now is almost exactly the same that uh, the tri parties would have if you just bring the exact same build. Uh, this is just cooldown, right? Because he removed all of his gems. And then the item level of the weapon itself is so low. Wow. Sheesh. 29,494니까. Mm, so what he was wanted to say is like right now it's uh, based on you know the only thing is you need you gotta set up the skills, you know, for it to land, uh, and it takes a little bit of time. Uh, to explode so the, since the boss is moving around everywhere it's a little bit harder to uh you know aim the skills to the boss but even with that case uh he was he was melting pretty fast considering he uh, uh lowered his lowered his attack a lot too um so with that one uh it wants to conclude that you know emperor no one has been playing emperor but now it's one of those things that can be also be uh also be recognized as top dps class as well this concludes it guys uh this concludes the interview series this was Boso again uh with like the crazy uh the new builds and everything the in the description his guide uh the invent is going to be posted hopefully someone can help translate i can't do it because i don't have time for it with that being said this concludes the video guys bye guys say bye to Boso. Say thank you, everyone. Say thank you. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. <laughs>